Do 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 Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment Today we're gonna be playing with Spectre Knight The Lord of The Enchantress I guess okay uh, let's begin a new adventure Okay, Spectre Knight, slice and dice through the tragic prequel So this is uh, Spectre Knight's quest or adventure So as you notice, we're basically gonna treat these three characters as like three different games Even though it's like the same game, it's still Shovel Knight, but we're playing as a different character That's why, uh, like last time I said Plague Knight Episode 1 So this is gonna be the same thing here, but Spectre Knight Specter Knight Episode 1, that's how I'm gonna call it. Okay. So Specter Knight is actually gonna be called Jet T Sun Jetison Yes. Let us begin! Spectre Knight! Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Shovel Knight, like Shovel Knight in my friend. But although the land is peaceful, for some, freedom is far gone memory. Yep. Spectre Knight knows how it feels. Spectre Knight, servant to the Enchantress, has been given a harrowing task. He must recruit a group of knights and form an invincible order called the Order of No Quarter. Ooh. With each member gathered, a treasured keepsake grows in power. Alright, so this pretty much tells the story of how the Order of No Quarter has been formed and, you know, Spectre Knight is behind all of this order. An artifact that can restore his humanity, but only when his task is complete. He once was a human. Now he leaves the comfiness of the Tower of Fate. It's time for the Reaper to pursue his quarry. The Reaper cometh. Ooh. This is the Plains of uh, Pass, I believe. Okay, this is the first stage. The Reaper cometh, yeah! Look at this. The stage looks much darker right now. So, it's basically in the past. So Spectre Knight um, can climb walls as you can see, he's the only character that can do that, but uh, he can't climb them forever, he, m he most likely just walks on walls like this, but as you can see, only for a short amount of time, so then he falls to the ground. You most likely want to jump on walls and then jump again, just so you won't uh, end up falling down like this. Yeah, that's what's up. You cannot. I mean, you can, yeah, you can uh, wall jump to wall jump, but watch out not to stay for too long, because he's gonna, he's gonna fall down. Spectre Knight is probably one of the trickiest uh, knights to play as. From my experience, and yeah, I've looked correctly, I've died like... So let's see. I died with Shovel Knight like 93 times. Which, with Plague Knight I died 101 times, and with Spectre Knight 107 times. So, yep, I did indeed end up dying a lot with Spectre Knight. Which proves he's uh, not the most useless out of them all, but the most tricky to play as, that's for sure. Because tell you what, we're gonna have a lot of these uh, tricky jumps to do. And some of them are maybe gonna piss me off, if I'm not careful. Like Shovel Knight, he cannot regenerate to MP. We're gonna have to find MP around.
but something powerful about his will is we're gonna actually be able to like use mana and give ourselves health anytime once we unlock the ability. Do, 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 do. And you may notice the team is now changed. It's no longer uh, like it used to be before. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Look at this. See, Spectre Knight can actually just jump on enemies. And like has uh, this um, parry ability. It parries the enemy or the whatever. Like this pretty much. But you're gonna have to hold it in the direction you're jumping, as you can see, it forms that circle over there. That, no, that line. And if you're doing like this, it's gonna propel you or launch you that way. It's gonna be much nice like this and... You know, it's very helpful and you're gonna have to use this most of the time. You can even continuously hit the opponent like this. So, you know, make good use of it. We're gonna have to be learning to do this quite a lot as Spectre Knight if we wanna get ourselves across some sections. So now we learned that we can do that. Do -do. Do -do. Do -do. Do -do. Do -do. Watch out for the slimes! Ow, oh, shit! The balloon just hit me. Oh! Okay. I believe the secret area is still here. Obviously, but now it looks different. And as you can see, it, it's kinda starting to get a little bit more challenging. It's not as easy as it was at first. I mean, it's still easy. You just have to jump across like this. And as you saw over there, we collected the Red School. Red Schools, they're actually gonna be a guy that collects these Red Schools. And we're gonna actually bring them to him in exchange for some relics. And uh, yeah, we wanna have to collect as many of these Red Schools as we can. If we wanna have our hands on these beautiful relics or abilities. And point them relics. Some of them are called relics, but they're abilities at the same time. We learned that from Shovel Knight, I believe. I believe. Oh yeah! Whoa! Ho -ho! Holy shit! These guys can break a lot of... Uh, whoa! Spectre Knight, look! Can actually break a lot of these... Uh... Yeah, oh! Holy shit! His boots are so strong. He's, he's like a skeleton, pretty much. If he stands on a platform, it just collapses. <laughs> That's funny. So this should be some HP for us. There we go. Ah, this one is easy. I'm gonna have to parry the dragon and then parry that thing. Couldn't resist, I had to take it. You know, but most of the time, if you miss a single coin, usually it's not worth to turn back for it. <laughs> because then you risk dying, which is a risk you do not want to take. Because then if you die, you lose even more coins. And you'll be like, oh, did I really have to waste my soul for one single coin? Just so I can lose this... All my coins then? <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it. There we go, collected another red school. Parry! It 
should be the treasure here. Treasure for Spectre! Yeah, give it! Oh, here's a chest! You wanna have to take this. This actually increases our will, you guys! This uh, willful wish, that's how it's called. It's a wish. Prolongs your underneath. Your oh, prolongs your undeath by increasing max will. Yeah, we actually are not dead right now. And now we have 5 hit points. Okay. I kinda wanna parry one of these dragons, take that. Let's wait for it. And parry the dragon and there we go. God, that's cool. A bit tricky, but uh, if you go like that, you can obtain that. It's cool. Oh god! <laughs> he just jumped into me. What slimes? What's up? Oh, we got it wrong. We should have parried him the other way so we can reach the upper platform. Kinda like... Wait... This! Yeah! Oh, now this one is a bit tricky. Where is falling down? So we wanna have to jump over to this gem and then... Oh, we just missed the gem. Alright, that's fine. But we gotta make sure you parry those two balloons. And then to get that, it's cool, just carry this balloon again. And climb there and you can get it. Just, I want the crystal! Oh, wow! Alright, we can screw that diamond in. It is for about a hundred. But... Risking my life. Oh, look who's here! It's Black Knight once again! HALT! HALT! These foul lands are no place for commoners! Turn back whoever you are! FOOL! Oh, wait. Uh, let me remember the voice. Um... FOOL! I've come here for you! You will kneel before me, bow before the Enchantress and join her order. Your cutting words are no match for my cutting blows! I'll teach you a lesson in humility. Oh! oh. oh like he looks like he's prepared this time. Come, Terrapin! Come, Terrapin! My shell still? Still. Uh oh. So now it's two against one. Oh shit. He's having an animal, you guys. Oh! Yeah, he's different this time around, as can see. Interesting point. Black Knight is actually weaker for Shovel Knight and Black Knight, but at Spectre Knight he's actually way much different. We actually have to knock him 
uh, off his um, animal. Only then he's kind of. Oh god! Ooh, calm down. Calm down, man. Hey, yeah. It's pretty dangerous, as you can see. Whoa, whoa, get, whoa, whoa! Don't swing that at me, bro. Oh shit! Whoa! Hey, yeah. <laughs> Got you. Yeah, your pet was no match for me, buddy. The Spectre brought you down. <laughs> that fighting style. Could it be Donovan? But you were claimed by the tower. We're not dead just yet. I mean, we are basically. We are the undead. The tower grows in power each moment. The Enchantress has plans for you and will grant you what you desire. I won't be led astray. You stranding before me means there is hope for the one I seek. I'm glad you're safe, Donovan. But keep your distance. The Donovan I knew would surely know better than to pursue me further. Hey, you're starting to attack me, bro. <laughs> Not my fault. So now Black Knight is pretty much by our side, yeah. He's no longer gonna be attacking us, cause... Oh, actually, I think... I think he is? Yeah. Oh, the Enchantress! <gasps> oh, we meet the Enchantress, you guys! So, you've returned. I assume Black Knight was joined... has joined our ranks? Well, yes and no? Neither words nor scythe had any effect. The fool persists in some fruitless quest. Indeed, it seems I am dealing only with fools here. I was a fool to trust you. Terry here, no longer. And for your sake, pray that the others are less obstinate. Bring the knights immediately. Alright, Enchantress. Don't have to tell me twice. I'm on my way. So, as you can see, this is our village. The Tower of Faith is actually our village. Inspector Knight's um, adventure, yeah. This is where we're gonna come and spend some time and rest. One, every time we finish a stage, we're gonna come here pretty much. Oh, I'm the edge farmer. Oh, I am. You think you're edgy? Yeah, do. Oi! I'll be the judge of that. I will. I'm not edgy. Uh, damn it, dude. I must learn that edgy pose. To make it to you and prove you that I'm edgy. Because now he doesn't believe we're edgy. Look at this, you guys. We have monorails over here. Or rails. Alright, <laughs> rails. We can scale across them using our sight like this. Even jump like this and do cool stunts, pretty much. So that's nice, okay. We have a wall here that's obviously breakable. And a guy that's in an armor. And it's headless, by the way. Let's talk to him. Horus. Oh, welcome. Few visit the endless purpose. But for the brave, I offer a brief diversion of my own design. As if the enchantress has the time for diversion. I've been here for longer than she. I merely reward the odd seeker of thirst, tears, and none harm me. Come to play my game. If you fare well, there may be a reward. Yes! Ah, then we shall begin. Please board the platform. Our mini game. So it's pretty much like that bottle mini game we had in Shovel Knight. But this time around, there is a moving platform. And we have to reach the top of the tower, pretty much. And this is actually pretty hard, I'm not even joking. I don't think you're able to do this. No matter how strong you are, you're gonna have to unlock some, like, abilities, like slowing time. Because the platform that comes after you is pretty much Horus that's coming after you. There's, like, some burning acid that's gonna come if you don't hurry. And once it gets to you, you pretty much lose and have to start from the beginning 
Uh, since this is a mini game, you don't lose anything if you die. But you lose the mini game. I mean, you don't, you don't basically die. You just lose. Right, oh, as you can see, he's pretty much catching up to us. Ooh. Yep, we're gonna have to hurry. Will we actually do this our first try? May we believe in this? I mean, I don't know how to say. We don't even have an ability yet. However, it's like we're still making it far. Oh, yikes. Yep, that's slow down over there. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Oh no. Yup. It's catching up, you guys. Oh god. Horus is catching up to us. We're gonna have to hurry. So as long as you keep moving, I don't think he can catch you, but... Yeah, he's... I'm not sure if you can notice, but... As much as you advance, he's gonna start increasing his speed. And then you're gonna be like, oh my god, how is he so fast all of a sudden? Oh. Oh, it's the end! Oh! Yeah, see that? We couldn't have any more speed. We, we kinda even fucked up. Anyways, uh, we performed admirably. <laughs> you performed admirably, but the goal remains elusive. Perhaps you'd like to try again sometime? I'll be back at you. Don't you worry. We're gonna soon complete that minigame as well. We kinda made it more than halfway through, I'm surprised. And it was just our first try. But yeah, until we don't get a lot of abilities, I'm probably not gonna try again. Oh, let's talk to this skeleton guy here. Oh, it's you! I saw you slicing and... A skeleton voice. Oh, it's you! I saw you slicing and dicing through the plains earlier. Wow! Round up a juice on me. Round up juice on me. Oh, he gave us three pink crystals. Thank you. Three diamonds. I just hope more and more people feel inspired to join the Enchantress. Yeah, let's join the Enchantress. Well, by giving them that much uh, diamonds, and yeah, boy, I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to join the Enchantress. What wouldn't they do for your diamonds, right? I think there's like an achievement, or uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, feet? Feet or achievement is the same thing. And if you like keep doing this for, uh, for a number of times, like slashing like this, upwards, you're gonna get yourself an achievement. Hey, green bird boy. Creech. He sure is drafting here, but still I carry on. Just a joke, you know? Or scavenging for customers. He doesn't actually have any customer right now. Well, later he's gonna actually have more customers. Wisdom, uh, you're not actually making eye contact with me, dude. <laughs> the Enchantress is so mysterious. Where did she come from? Who is she? Ooh, a samurai dude. You can't control the direction of the dash slash. It's based on whether you are above or below your enemy. Sure. I mean, we kinda got that. Ooh, didn't talk with you before. Wisdom. The knights with higher bounces of the magic mirror are probably more difficult to defeat. Difficult to defeat. Hmm. I don't know about that. Bone Clang, if things are looking too grim, try using curios. We don't currently have any curio. Oh yeah, that's how abilities are called curios. <laughs> For Spectre Knight abilities are curios. We should start calling them like that from now on. Doggy! Yeah, there's a dog here. If you uh, bring in this pink ball to him, he's gonna start jumping after it. Oh, it's cute. Uh, oh, dog, you nearly fall down there. Watch out. Don't fall. Look. 
He's even doing stunts. I mean, he's playing with it. Look, <laughs> it's trying to simulate a doggy in real life, pretty much. Look, this is my virtual pet right now. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your ball? You missed it. Oh, he's sad now. Why are you so sad? Look at him. Oh, he's going back to sleep. <laughs> so the only way you can wake him up is pretty much by playing with him. Ew! Ew! No! Yeah! Uh, same thing. I'm actually supposed to sleep after I end the episode. So good night you guys. <laughs> Decided to record Spectre Night late in the night, but there we go. <laughs> I guess it's most fit. Gold armor. Gold armor. <laughs> Gold armor. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I get to serve the enchantress. I'm getting fired up just thinking about it. Maybe I should come up with a new special move. Something to stand out from all those boring Goldamores in Pride Amore. Oh, you should, man. You should show them that you're the real deal. I can't believe it. He's getting fired up, but... You know, we're supposed to help him with that. You see that uh, slicing thing over there? You notice that it's actually red compared to the other one next to it? The other one is orange. If we slice this for about three times, it's actually gonna fall on his head. And he's gonna become a red knight. <laughs> yeah, we just changed his color like that. And look, he's not standing still anymore. Now he's moving. Whoa! This is awesome! I could perform lots of sword stabs in armor like this. I'm going to put him for a transfer to the lost city immediately. Oh, to the lost city? That's where my adventurers are, yeah! Go there, son! Join us, the adventurers! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> doesn't He doesn't exactly give you anything if you do it, except dialogues. He always gives you dialogues if you keep, uh, like, coloring him in different colors by slashing that thing upwards with him. Uh, after we clear a level, I believe it's always gonna change colors. So once we come back here, we can just uh, smash it over and over again and he's pretty much repeat the process. We only get dialogue, that's it. Also, if we smash this mirror repeatedly, we're gonna notice there's a witch into the mirror. Reminds you of someone familiar, doesn't it? Maybe Grandma Swamp? Scrying glass. Crying? Lol. What's crying? You mean crying or scrying? Does that scrying word exist? Brine, blight, and fire's bright. Your feet are laid bare to my all knowing sight. Peparacio Ascensius. 156 is the number of woes you've scaled. Morbidum Retrona. The number of times you've fallen in battle is zero. Woo! Cheers! Chronologico, the total time you've spent adventuring is zero uh, hours, 26 minutes and 52 seconds. Inchisum ascent, uh, inchisum antes, inchisum antes jetum. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a very hard incantation to spell. The number of dash dashes you've done is 149. Clearly, this is powerful sorcery. Thank you, bewitched Myror. I am not the Myror! Okay then. <laughs> you are a witch into the Myror. I know. What about this guy here? He looks like he could sell something to us. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with curios. Perhaps I'll make an offering? Offer a thousand gold? We're gonna have to like offer them... 3,000 gold in total to like open their shop This is actually gonna be a shopper, but we're gonna have to donate him like 3,000 gold in total And he's gonna keep asking me over and over again if I wanna give him a thousand coins A waste of time and coin 
No, it's not Spectre tonight. We're actually gonna need him. So shut your ass up. All right. Um, I don't think I wanna pay this guy yet. There's another one down below. If we jump down here. So let's jump here. Now let's speak to this uh, magical girl first. Hello. Is that a green book in your hand? Dark Acolyte. Oh, you're my Acolytes. Okay. Hail Lord Spectre Knight. Glory to the Enchantress. She has entrusted me to operate this dark portal. Cross through it and you'll reach your target in a mere moment. Shall I prepare the magic mire for your departure, my lord? Not now, my trusty infant. Uh, but you can do that later. Ooh, I see a red school there. You can basically get it by slashing open the gates over there. Imagine if you actually miss the most obvious dark school out of all. Like, that's no way you can miss that. A uh, liquid samurai, okay. You made out of liquid, seriously? You can control the direction of the... Um, I have no idea how to make those NPCs voices sometimes, but okay. You can control the direction of the dash lens. It's based on whether you are above or below your enemy. Okay. We know that. Oh, that's the Red School guy I was talking about. Let's talk to him. My beloved, my betrothed, my heart breaks for her Red School. Lies misplaced. Ah, uh, to see her crimson face once more. If you should happen upon a Red School, even a hundred of them, then I beg you, please, bring them all to me. In a past life, I hunted curios. But I'd trade them all away just to see my love again. Surely this would interest you. Yeah, they actually interest me a lot. I'm gonna try my best to give you any red schools that I found. You guys have to do the same. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, now we have to choose here. So basically, we, if we choose one, it's gonna consume some of our red schools. So we have the throwing sickle, launch a bloomerang. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I know I'm with the bloomerang. <laughs> launch a boomeranging blade. Yeah, it's a boomeranging blade that we can launch at enemies. It only costs five red schools. Five red schools. The dread taloon costs eight red schools. Unleash a powerful close-range strike. Hmm. We also wanted that, but two for the price of one again doesn't feel right. In fact, oh, we could actually have this one. Okay, it does. Okay, we we do have enough red schools. And the will school clutch this school to regain will. But now this is actually the best. Let's say you're having a boss fight and you need to like heal if you're getting damaged a lot. This will help you. Okay, you can constantly heal. Well. As long as you have MP to do it, you can heal. If you don't have it, then you cannot heal. That's how it works. Every curio consumes MP. Sadly. So I think I want to go for... Hmm. Something to throw at enemies seems quite good, but... Yeah, the will school. Let's go for the will school first. Ah, this curio is well guarded. While I can lead you there, you'll have to battle your way out. Yes, can do. No problem. Whoa, I just fell from above. Uh, Red, that's his name. It would seem that a curse has been placed here. I'm afraid your sight will be of no use. Why is that, you ask? Sorry, but that's an ancient skeleton secret. Well, they group ahead. Tread carefully. Escape. So we pretty much have to make it alive, you guys. It's pretty much like a short... Uh, a short section that showcases you what the curio does. It's not basically hard to get through. Plus, if you manage to die here somehow, it, nothing is actually gonna happen. You're not gonna lose everything. You're just gonna start over again. Clutch this school to regain will. Hmm, 
Oh boy, guys, I'm I'm so hurt right now. Let's consume some wheel. Mm. 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 Oh baby, yeah, triple. That's delicious. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, I also forgot the damage. The guys up there can damage me. And since we're into a cursed area, we cannot attack it. Mm. Right, thanks for the curio. Excellent! Away we go! Nice! So it's just for curio showcase. The curio is no mere bubble. Use it wisely, and after you finish it, finish the round, it's gonna give you the curio. And so now we can use it anytime we want to, guys! Yeah! Every time we need wheel, we're gonna clutch on this. Um, clutch this cool to regain our will. My heart grows cold. I have located new curios, but have you found any red schools? Yes, I did. So, uh, 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 I guess we're going for the Dread Talon then. Unleash a powerful close range strike. That goes like this. It's like pretty much um, one of these claws. It's a claw attack. Ah, this curio is well guarded. While I can lead you there, you'll have to battle your way out. Woo! And falling from, from above, right? Yeah. This area is cursed as well. Thread carefully. Escape. Alright, so here's the Dread Talon. Unleash a powerful close range strike. By pressing and holding F. Or by just pressing F. Yeah, it works as that as well. You don't have to press and hold. So, yeah! Oh, we just have to do it. Yeah, and good lord, there are these mana regeneration uh, shrines over here. Because you're gonna need them if you wanna make it across. It's like the only way. It makes it possible for you to get across. Oh, oh well, would you look like that? There wasn't a wall there. Hey, yeah! Ooh, nice! I'm liking this dead talon. Alright, here's how you make it through. We just pretty much have to slash like this. To make it across. Excellent! Away we go! Take me away, then. I love how we just pop back out of his uh, collection of Red School. That curio is no mere bubble. Use it wisely! Thank you, my man! Appreciate that. So now we also have the Dead Tra... D dread Taloon, right? Yes, unleash a pop close range strike and the wheel school. We can use both of them anytime we want. Uh, give me this first. Hey, yeah. Here's some extra diamonds for us if we smash these heads like that. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> hey there, girl. Who are you? Missy. <laughs> oh, hey, Specty. Welcome back. If you ever miss any wisp chest, I can summon their contests here. But, you know, supplies. I need gold. It isn't cheap to summon a wisp, whether it's for wheel or darkness. I've got nothing to sell you. You're so meticulous, Specty. But maybe I can still help. Let's see. She's gonna tell us where wisps are located. Wisps are in Clockwork Tower, Exploratorium, or the Lichard. Clockwork Tower, Exploratorium, or the Lichard. So she mentions for about three locations, but they're gonna be more locations than this. Uh, these are not the only locations they're gonna be at. Any other new place and you'll find a willful wisp. I mean, you know, kinda makes me question why did you <laughs> tell us the locations in the first place since you then said it's pretty much in every single location. Okay, girl. So, each time you miss, like, a wisp, because, you know, you get, you're basically gonna have to find them in a secret area. Well, then, she's gonna actually buy... She's gonna actually have them for you. And you can actually buy them from her, but... If you wanna buy them, you're gonna need to give her coins, so... I suppose you don't really wanna miss any wisp. Else you're gonna have to buy it from her. Yeah, we have Will Wisps and Darkness Wisps. The Darkness Wisps give us more Darkness MP and more Will. I mean, the, the Will one gives us Will. Alright, here's the other creature. 
that can sell us some objects. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with a cloak. Perhaps I'll make an offering. Offer 800 gold. This one is cheaper than the other one, so we're gonna go for this one. We're gonna, just gonna keep offering it a lot of gold, actually. The vessel can hold far more than these patents. The vessel can hold far more than these pittance. But it's a start. It's a start and we're just gonna keep going like this. These creatures are... Yeah, there we go. Keep paying. Here, have all my coins. The vessel is nearly full. We'll see where this leads. It leads somewhere. Oh, something is happening. Oh, these weird cats form the... Uh... I don't even know what that is. An undead person. Oh, state your business, abomination. Who are you? We are many. We like your gold. We like your cloak. Touch it. New powers. Yes. We cloak you in darkness. Close. Oh yeah, you guys. This is from where we can buy clothes. Yeah! So each cloak has their own ability. Cloak changes the appearance of us pretty much, so... If we buy one, we're gonna... We won't look the same anymore. Our aspect will be totally changed. We'll have another costume pretty much. So this, for example, the Clock of Alchemy. Lose will and darkness instead of perishing in pits and spikes. Drop less gold when you fall in battle. So, uh, this one pretty much doesn't let us die. As you can probably tell. Rail mail and advanced clock hold the down key when landing to grind quickly along surfaces and spikes as if they were rails. Normally you can't walk on spikes, but with this, you still cannot walk on spikes, but if you hold the down key, you can basically use anything, like any platform, any... That where you're standing on pretty much, you can um, grind quickly across any surface pretty much. It doesn't matter. Even across spikes, yeah. Strikers shall hold E to charge then release a superior side swing. This one does like a charge attack. Raymond of risk, break checkpoints to lower your maximum will, but boost attacks and regenerate darkness until you fall in battle. This one lowers your will as it says. But you're gonna have to break checkpoints. And checkpoints are actually important if you don't wanna start all the way from the beginning. Because you break the checkpoints. But if you do this, you know, this is probably the most useless uh, cloak out of all. I don't really find it that useful. Especially this one. It's actually pretty useless. You break the checkpoint, but the effect is does actually last until you die then the next time you respawn you don't have the effect anymore it's pretty much gone you're gonna have to break another checkpoint and the ghostly garb this one is not useless it looks good at least <laughs> ghostly garb look more imposing and fearsome than ever before but to no effect uh, this this over here pretty much changes also the um, your movements and it makes it look like you're skating doesn't make it look like you're walking anymore it gives you different aspects but it's pretty much like the normal cloak it doesn't do anything it just looks uh, different makes you look more handsome so you know how I like to go we're gonna go with the main one I don't really buy a six, wanna buy a 6,000 one. So let's buy this one. The Cloak of Clemency. Are you sure? Duh. Of course I'm sure. Thank you, my man. My heart grows cold. Alright, well, I don't think we have more curios. We got any more curios to find. More red food. 
you can actually fall off the Tower of Fate if you go there. But uh, we'll keep that for another time. Yeah, basically not worth doing it. We do not want to die. I'm not even sure if that counts as a death. Probably may not, but I won't take the risk. A strange aura surrounds you, Reaper. Why do you cling to this mortal coil? It's everything I got, man. Stay grounded and attack as quickly as possible. Your foes will fall in no time. Hey! Hey, you got that from me, didn't you? <laughs> So then you guys, shall we carry on to the next area? Alright, wait a second. I just... Let's do some donations here. <laughs> I'm being very charitable. Yeah, I know, the creatures are gathering uh, around the vessel marked with curios. Let's offer a thousand gold. And then a thousand more gold. The vessel is nearly full. We'll see where this leads. As you can see, when I'm talking now, my character's profile looks different also. As you can see, it's now green and purple pretty much. Empty pockets. <laughs> okay, actually never... <laughs> so if you don't have enough money to pay him... To give him... Spectre Knight is gonna say... Empty pockets. <laughs> We don't have enough points. <laughs> Empty pockets. So let's go make some more treasure. Shall I prepare the magic mire for your departure, my lord? Do it. So where do we go then? Ooh, exploratorium. I think we want to go to the exploratorium. Yeah, let's go to the Exploratorium first. Plague Knight! Okay, so... This is Plague Knight's domain, pre domain, pretty much. My lord, are you prepared to visit the Exploratorium? Yes. We must hire Spectre Knight... Um, Plague Knight, I'm sorry. We must hire Plague Knight by our side. Dash and slash, you guys, let's go. Last time I played this level was kinda of pain in the ass. But let's make sure this time won't be the same. And as you may notice, we're we're kinda of having an alchemical cloak uh coat right now. Some of these cloaks that you have actually can match some of your I think they do actually match the stage. They've like been designed to match exactly some particular stages when you're wearing some cloak. Oh god! Oh! These fires here are very dangerous, we're gonna have to move fast. Oh yes! Yeah. There's no time to lose! Our first checkpoint. Let's not break it. I mean, we'll see. I might break it afterwards if I meet a new checkpoint. Alright, so now we have different colored skeletons. Oh, they look exactly like me. Oh, he just rushed towards me. You see that? He was. He went like this. Oh yeah. Damn. You know, I'm running out of HP. And I just forgot we can actually use the uh, MP attack. So let's uh, clutch on a wheel. There we go. Oh, it wasn't even a thing that restores all his HP. Oh, yeah! Oh god, watch out! Oh! No one afforded. 
Oh shit! Hey, how about you fall down instead? Don't wanna fall down. Ow, you stupid rat! These enemies can hurt sometimes. I'm out of MP. I wish it would be a regenerating. We're gonna have to time it here. Wait for this platform and then we can jump you also. Whoa, whoa! Okay. Now, interesting. You think we can get to that? Oh! Very risky. Hmm. Not enough momentum. How do I even do this? Last time I did this, okay. Ah, uh, this is a tricky one. You're gonna have to like scale the platform like this until you eventually get... What?! I definitely did that. He should've like catch on to the ledge. Why did he catch on? Right, let's see. Um... Oh, fuck, we had it. Right, wait. Oh, yes. Okay, like that. You're gonna have to be fast jumping too much. See, it was easy. Oh god. See, we have uh, some tonics over here. Oh, <laughs> we can even uh, smash it upwards. But yeah, these uh, waves of flames pretty much infest the water. We're gonna have to watch out. Oh, oh! Hey! Yeah. Wait. We wanna get this first, can we? Nice! We got another red pool. Dun, dun, dun. Man, I love this music. It's uh, it's amazing. All right, well, there's not a checkpoint for us. Watch out for the. Oh God, he got me. He got me again. Oh, have mercy. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, see that enemy over there? He's gonna try to rush towards us, but we're gonna stop him. I think he wants to scare the crap out of me once I saw him getting so fast to me. Oh, good. Get good. Okay. Well, we were lucky these were not real spikes. Yeah, the spikes over there are actually just... Uh, uh, like... Spikes that damage you, but don't kill you. The ones up top there will actually kill us. N no, they won't kill us right now since we have this cloak. And remember, it says it does actually save us every time we point in fights. All it sacrifices some will. <laughs> See that? You're gonna have to hold on to the wall pretty tight over there if you don't wanna fall down and get to that pool. Oh god, okay, oh, um, sorry, I see that creature over there, distance. Yeah, let's smash it. Right, wait, you're gonna have to time it. You'll find out that timing is crucial in this game. Hey! Oh, 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 fuck, I hate this part. Oh, I actually hate it. I never know when to land. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh, oh god! No, oh, no! Please chill. Maybe we should stop worrying so much. I mean, we can actually fall down and not die. It does take away some HP from us, though. Yeah, doesn't it? Lose will and darkness. And darkness, let's see. We don't die, but we lose will and darkness. This seems dangerous as heck. No! <laughs> Wait, am I one hit and I'm gonna die? Yeah, it's getting intense. I'm not sure. We will survive this. Yeah, I'm not giving up just yet. But I'm afraid one more hit or two more hits, not dead, okay. So let's time this. There's a. HP over here. Oh, there we go. Made it. 
Oh god, how are we gonna get past this creature? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, spikes. Spikes, spikes. Spiky area. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, I want this. Alright. <laughs> Man. It's not so hard anymore. I'm a very experienced police adventurer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see that? We've, we even killed the, killed the crow. That carries a potion with it. Wait, is he legit carrying a potion with it? LOL. Do you know what? I actually want to break this checkpoint. Let's not feel sorry, let's just break it. I mean, I'm running low on treasure, I must get more treasure. Okay, more timing. And this time moving platforms again. Okay, whoa! Jumping feels a bit harsh over here. Okay, wait. You call that a challenge? That was easy. <laughs> that was very easy. <laughs> Come on. Can I brag? Normally it would have been hard, but we just did it. Easy. Hmm. That bird there is gonna be a problem. Whoa! It's infecting the world water. Wait, how do we even go to it? Oh, I have an idea. Oh! But it should toss in my way, let's see. It oh, I know what to do. We have to basically... Wait, what? No. Is it not? It's not. Alright, no, okay. I thought it would work. Okay, oh go! We're losing HP. Like shit. There we go, should've just no. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some wheels. Before we die. There we go. It's important to keep myself healthy. Now I think we can use this bird as a means of getting to this red pool here. Yep. See that? I could have predicted that that's what we have to do. Uh. Oh! Oh no! A bird that's throwing explosions at us really reminds me of uh, Plague Knights. In fact, they're actually Plague Knights uh, groups. So let's be careful. Do, 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 do. Oh hello! Oh, are you throwing shit at me? Oh no! Oh, he's with the potions. Oh, this guy here is a mini boss. Yep, you get it. We're gonna have to slash him unmerciful. Hey! Oh wow, what can we catch up to? Wait! Oh, clutch on some wheel. I'm getting damaged here. He's also transforming into a beast. Oi! Hey, there we go. Our efforts shall not go in vain. Man, Spectre Knight is full beast mode. If you, of course, use him properly. Jets of flames everywhere. Oh, whoa. Ow! Now I need HP. Give me chicken or a half fighting apple. Oh, okay. Whoa, how do we have to wait? Oh, like this? That's some clutch timing. Whoa. Oh! We're nearly touching my fire. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, fire below me! Ow! How dare you! It's got on some wheel. Oh, 
Oh, a carrot! I should have known there was a carrot there. Diamond! Oh, let's wait for this little guy over here. He's gonna try to rush us. Nope. No, you don't. Oh, free. This part here is kinda terrifying. No! Yeah. Eh, that was not so risky. There's a red pool. And some jets of flames. Easy. And the treasure! Yeah! My treasure, yo! Give it to me! Spectre Knight is here to take the treasure away! Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, we have to jump! Alright, makes sense. Since the water is pushing us from the opposite direction. <laughs> yes! Ooh! Get wrecked, scrub! I can't believe just only two slashes and I'm out of MP. You really need to increase our MP, like bad. So that we don't run out of MP so easily. I'm making use of this MP. It's very useful. Two tricky treasure! I'm a treasure hunter, I want this- Oh no! Okay, oh, you can have your treasure then. Dude, ah, oh, it's a doggy. It's the doggy, but... He, he's actually an enemy. Oh. <laughs> Rest in peace, doggy. See, it's not quite good because now that he's dead, we don't get his treasure. Yeah. Well, I, he attacked me too fast. I couldn't have even had time to react. Anyways, I'm gonna break this because that was a treasure. Okay, he he was a dog, but he contained the treasure inside of him. If we would have attacked him, we would have gained that treasure. Ow! That fell right on my head! Yo! Ding. Oh! We have multiples? Oh god! Here it comes! We're gonna have to worry! Hurry! Oh god, there's an exploding rat over there! I have an idea, just smash it like this! It works! Uh oh! Don't make me fall down! Oh, 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 oh! Well, we would've been toast, you guys! Hey, okay. So, I think we're up. Plague Knight. Ooh, we're meeting Plague Knight, you guys. What? <laughs> How? S wow, someone called the Emb. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, someone called the Embomber. This one's past its prime. What are you even doing here? Show yourself! I come to offer you the position of court alchemist to the Enchantress. Join us and her army of invincible knights. Oh, you don't say? Sounds important. Invisible knights? Tell me more. 
<laughs> Boom! You are clearly not playing. You are clearly not paying attention. Perhaps my scythe will get through to you. Oh, let's fight then. Fighting against black knife. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, he can't even do clones as a person. See, this Black Knight just looks different than the one with Bane, yeah. <laughs> than the other Black Knight. Oh, 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 what was really? it? No, God! Whoa, he's actually kicking my ass. I get some HP! Oh, God. He's destroying this whole place with his explosions. Oh, ooh, the mighty alchemist! Wait! Oh! Yo! You have to be more of than I expected. Dun, dun. But, we brought him down with our sight. The great alchemist has now officially joined us. And I think after you defeat um, one of the knights of the, you know, Order of No Quarter, he is gonna join you, of course. And he's actually gonna be chilling over here at this table. Tag knife! Yeah. What are you doing here? Are you eating a chicken? Lol. This tower sure is seeing a... <laughs> Buyers of activity lately, business is booming. Uh, I'm having <laughs> a blast. Well, damn, sure seem like you're having a blast then. It looks like he's waiting for something, <laughs> but for what? It's interesting to see this Plague Knight looking different than the one we know. He, he looks actually a bit much bigger than you've expected him to be. <laughs> oh, and look, we also have one of his minions here. The Exploratorium is definitely our only headquarters. Yup, you can always find Plague Knight there. He doesn't ever leave and go anywhere. I really promise. Hey! My man also gonna give me some crystals. Thank you. Oh, it's you! I saw you slicing and dicing for the planes earlier. Wow, round of juice on me. <laughs> Is that it? Only one? One rock? Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna give you diamonds if you talk to him anymore. He's just gonna give you... One... <laughs> a rock. <laughs> Which is pretty much one gold in total. <laughs> only one. Only one! That's like... poor. At least he gives you something. Oh hey! I saw you! Were you drinking a potion there? Man, you better be careful with these potions. I'm... Aren't you gonna get a... Stomach ache? You mean... Your stomach might hurt after you drink so many potions. Are they even drinkable? What the hell, Plague Knight? Samurai. Oh, okay, we... Talked with you before. Oh hey, you have a customer now. It sure is drafty in here. But still, I carry on. Just a joke, you know. Well, scavenging for customers. Scavenging for customers, okay. Oh, it, uh, isn't that the guy, the mini boss that we just fought? He's the guy with, that has a beard and can transform into a giant monster by drinking a potion. Okay. Never noticed he was here before. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Another minion. The boss won't say much about our latest project. Keeps yelling something about essences. Who knows? Oh yeah, you know Plague Knight is all about essences. Collecting the nice essences after he kills them. For his big potion. 
uh, gold armor. It's another gold armor, okay. If you fall in battle, some of your gold will still... will spill out floating... Uh, in floating bags. Make sure to retrieve them. Okay. Good qu Good tip. Good that we haven't died so far. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure how much we can keep going like that without dying. Spectre Knight's campaign is, can be pretty tough some, sometimes. We might end up dying eventually. Hey! You know what? I've learned that this dog is actually aggressive. I don't like this dog. So how about... You know what? I'm about to do something. Let's troll him. You thinking what I'm thinking? Let's actually troll him. Stupid dog. Right, wait. Oh. There's a purple color over there. Well, let's say for this brave knight over there to, uh, you know, stay. Okay. Can you move a little bit like that? There we go. Hey, yeah. And now you are violet. Or blue. Whoa, what's the big idea? My suit is all rusted. Hey, like this I can pass myself off as the guard of the iron whale. I'll need some kind of neutral attack. Neutral attack, okay. Eh, whatever. I'll just grab an ankle or something. Got you. You're like a submarine knight. <laughs> Let's check our cat here. Brian Blight and fires bright, your fat feats are laid bare to my all-knowing sight. Preparatio Ascensios, 299 is the number of walls you've scaled. Morbidum Retona, the number of times you fall in battle is zero. Hey! Chronological, the total time you've spent adventuring is 1 hour, 10 minutes and 14 seconds. And it will be time we end this episode. Ancisium Antestum. The number of dash slashes you've done is 231. Clearly this is powerful sorcery. Thank you, Bewitched Minor. I'm not a minor. Shut up, you are a minor. You're the witch in the minor. Not quite our reflection. <laughs> These creatures are gathering. Let's spay them. This should be the last, okay. And now is he's gonna transform into a giant creature? Oh no, he's gonna eat our soul, no! Oh, he's not, okay. He's friendly. We be legend. Legend, oh. <laughs> Curios, gold, pay the up, powerful we make. This guy upgrades your Curios to become even stronger. Like for example, the Dread Talon upgrade resists interruption and increases attack range. Makes it even more fearsome. Will school upgrade yields even more will. So when you're healing yourself, will like double the hit points that we can recover. Cool. I'm gonna buy one of them. Or not? Should we wait? I don't have to buy. It. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm not sure if I should buy right now. I need more coins. And oh, look, there's a red school over here. If you pay attention and break this wall here, you'll find yourself a red school. I don't think there's any more breakable walls. I think I found for about all of them. Why are you bouncing, girl? Oh, did I miss one? No, don't tell me I missed a wisp. I had no idea where the wisp was located. Where was it? Like, I actually don't know. Where did I miss it? Hey, you missed a wisp chest. Want to have a look? Yes. 
Ah, damn it! And he was the one I wanted, actually. <laughs> oh, we need to pay 4,000. Nope, I don't have the coins. I do. But I want to buy myself an armor. This is why I'm keeping those damn coins. I want armors. After we're done with armors, we're gonna start buying this. I mean, at least one armor. And then if we have enough coins, I mean, we can buy like one upgrade or... There we go. We like your gold, we like your cloak, touch it, new powers, yes, we cloak you in darkness. Which one are we gonna buy now, let's see. Well, the rail mail is next. Oh, uh, you know what, before I buy, let me actually see. Oh, okay, I know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I know. We're gonna buy the real mill. Yeah. An advanced cock. An advanced cock. Hold. Uh, down key when landing to grind quickly along surfaces and spice. As if they were rails. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, okay then, let's take it. Yes, of course I'm sure. This one lets you move so fast that not even an enemy can catch up to you. Like, look at this. We can grind across absolutely any surface with no issue, guys. Like, when I'm saying no issue, I say no issue. This does actually grant, grant you movement speed pretty much, allowing you to grind. Also, spikes won't be a problem anymore because you can grind them. Oh! Stay grounded in the attack as quickly as possible. <laughs> Man, it's so much fun. Oh, yeah! Hey there, Red! I have more schools! My heart grows cold! I have located new curios! But have you found any red schools? So let's see what you have for us now. You have a throwing sickle, launching a Boomeranging blade and bounded soul free a lost soul which affects off of surfaces. Okay, let's go with the throwing sickle first. Ah, this curio is well guarded. While I can lead you there, you'll have to battle your way out. This area is cursed as well. Tread carefully. Let's see, a throwing sickle, launch a boomeranging blade, yeah. By pressing F. Just like that. We can kill enemies from uh, within our reach, like this. Nice. Excellent! Away we go! A good display of um, curios, I'm gonna say. That curio is no mere bubble. Use it wisely. You say that about a lot of curios, don't you? <laughs> oh, look at this, he's actually increasing his collection of red schools. And for some weird reason, it looks like you have much more schools than I've actually given you. That's funny. My heart grows cold. Or maybe. Maybe he has exactly the same number of curios I gave him, I don't know. Have you located any more schools? Uh, curios? Yeah, okay. I have. Bounding soul, free a lost soul, which affects... Let's try this one. Ah, this curio is well guarded. While well, I can lead you there, you have to battle your way out. Uh, it's good that we don't take fall damage. <laughs> this area is cursed as well. Tread carefully. I think there is for about one area that is not cursed. And the reason why it's not cursed is because you have to actually slash for that ability to work. <laughs> That's why it's not cursed. Because every time an area is cursed, you notice we cannot use our slashing attack. 
We can only use uh, our curio to attack. We are not so which reflects off the surfaces. This is a bouncing projectile, it bounces all over the place like this. And at some point it's just gonna destroy itself. Let's see. Mm, didn't quite ricochet like I wanted it to, but fine. Come on. Let's see, I want this to ricochet. I mean it's probably going to, let's see. Oh nice! <laughs> okay, that was amazing. Excellent! Now where we go? Curio is no mere bubble. Use it wisely. Sayonara then. So, uh, you ready for any steps, are you guys? Let's do this. Don't forget to like this video and see you all later!